Hey everybody, this is Crystal Erica. Um, this is going to be my first YouTube video as a gardener. My first year gardening, always had it in my blood. I love the garden, I love flowers, I love vegetables and fruits and watching things grow from seeds. It's just amazing. And, you know, just want to do a, a little video on my garden. And first I must say to God be the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. That's my Lord and Savior. And he gives us this free land, this free earth. And, you know, sometimes we take advantage of it. And sometimes we don't. And the people that don't take advantage of it in a good way by doing something like this, you know, it's, it's a waste. And he gives you this precious gift, earth and seeds, and you can grow your own food and your own you know beauty your own nature so with that being said let me start actually let me start here and this is the very first thing i put into this garden and it's a garden bean seed pack i had like two of them and i planted one here and one there and this is how they grew up to be they just grew up real tall a lot of vines real thick now um, I planted about April. Everything in the garden I planted from April until probably a few weeks ago. And um, just about one thing a few weeks ago. But, um, you know, at first they would give me a hard time. I had plastic bottles on them, like milk jugs, and I cut them and was covering them up because the sun was real bright and it looked like it was making them shrivel and you know i protected it real well and this is how it grew up to be and just recently about yesterday or two days ago um the flower sprouted there's the there we go the little flower and there's one right there inside of here down that way one right there and there's another one and they're doing real well um, the next thing I have in my garden is tomatoes. I had started off with one tomato plant. And actually, it was this one right here. And it's the one who's giving me a tomato. So this is the very first plant I had. And of course, it's spread into two or three different vines. But um, I have a lot of flowers. And I just added maybe one, two, three more tomato plants three or four more and they all have flowers and ready to produce tomatoes but they're doing real good this one's kind of off to the side a little bit and that's because I have basil I have fresh basil growing and it looks real good I had just planted them sparingly like I had read that um, if you plant basil near your tomatoes, your tomatoes will come out sweeter. So I kind of put them right there next to this one. And they're still close to the other tomatoes. But that one, we'll see the difference if it comes out real sweet. Um, over here are my beauties. This is my prize beauty right here. I found out recently that I'm in love with okra plants they're just beautiful like this is the newest one I planted this about maybe like a month maybe a month or two ago no more than two months and I bought it as a seedling thing at the store like it was maybe this tall and this is the one I had first this is my prize beauty look at the leaves I'm in love with the leaves. The leaves are just beautiful. I just love the way they're shaped. And then my nephew was laughing because he thinks it looked like a marijuana plant. He was cracking up. <laughs> I said, no, it's okra. That is real beautiful. And recently, um, I've been getting okra. I've already cut two off already, as you can see. One, two. And there's another beauty growing. And then there's one right here. And the flower head just came off. And another one where the flower is coming off. 
Okay. And these crazy guys right here are pumpkins. Now, I got to say, I did not know pumpkins spread out this far and had so much, you know, roots and leaves and, and vines and things like that. So, I said, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So, I built this trellis. Just paid a couple dollars for the little boards at Lowe's and got some, um, you know, that twine string from the dollar store in the garden section and just put this together. Put some little birds up there. And um, the pumpkins are now training themselves to go up the trellis. I'm going to show you a little closer. Let's see? So, they teach themselves to climb up with the little vines and everything. See the little squiggly thing coming out? It's so cute. Like I said, it's my first year gardening, so excuse my language to any farmers or gardeners. <laughs> that are in the expertise mode I'm almost there I'm getting there but this is zucchini green zucchini they've been flowering a lot and falling off I did read that um, the male flowers are the first ones to sprout and they fall off and that's probably why there were so many of them just you know falling off and there goes one and they don't produce the zucchini. The female flowers make the zucchini, which makes sense because females have babies. We reproduce life. I think the only male on earth that can actually produce a child is a seahorse, is what they say. But who's to say if the seahorse is a male? How do you tell? Anyway, that's it for my garden. I just wanted to show you guys. And I got some knockout roses right there. Oh, I did put sugar snap peas. Sugar snap peas down this whole row. I just put some poles there because they look like they were leaning. So, I don't know if they climb up too. They probably should. They got these little vine things like the rest of them have. And then these were turnips. I only have them there because this is where I had a black cow. Cow manure. 